Okay guys, so we are moving to module two now. So in module two, we are going to be covering off the teaching model and the teaching model LTE. So as we go through, we're gonna explain the differences between the two teaching models. We'll have some on-screen prompts for you guys as we're giving you the examples. Now with the regular teaching model, we're gonna cover off um, the four different parts, which are tell, show, tell, and go. So with the four different parts of the teaching model, we're hitting different learning styles. So we might have kids that are more visual learners versus kids that are more auditory learners. So as you're going through, the biggest thing with the teaching model is to just be very clear and very concise. Um, Coach Alexa is going to talk a little bit about the teaching model LTE. So the teaching model LTE follows the same four parts, the tell, show, tell, go, but it's going to be a lot simpler because the kids are a lot younger and you're going to really, really focus on those parent directives. So keeping the parents involved, saying, okay, parents, this is this part so that they're listening to you, they're paying attention and they know what they need to do to help their child get through the game. Perfect. And over to Coach Stu, he's going to talk a little bit about the under sixes and eights teaching model. So uh, similar to Alexa there, we still follow the same principle methodology behind the tell, show, tell, go uh, teaching model, but uh, there's a little more room for variation, whereas almost all of the younger kid classes will have them stand in the circle and then we explain the game and then we play the game. Uh, you're more able to put the kids in their starting positions, which is the biggest difference I find. So if I set the game up, I'll set everyone up in the right position and then I'll explain the game. It gives them more of an opportunity to visualize what we're uh, looking to achieve with the game. So yeah, that's going to cover off module two and we're going to get started. Teaching model LTE. All right, everyone. So today we are going to go on a big trip on an airplane. Okay, so on our trip, we are going to a big island called Hawaii. Now on Hawaii, we're going to find four volcanoes. Purple, yellow, orange, and red, way back there, okay? So, we're gonna travel around, travel around, but soccer players, when you see volcanoes, there is very hot lava inside of them. Do you think we wanna touch the hot lava? No way. So, we're gonna travel around, and we have to make sure that the volcanoes do not explode. So, moms and dads, we are going to be running around, we're gonna be working on our spatial awareness in this game. Okay, so you guys are going to be running around with them and helping them to distinguish between the colors and making sure they don't crash, keeping their heads up. Okay, so everyone is going to stay sitting and watch coach. Okay, so I'm going to travel around and I'm going to show us how we're going to make sure the volcanoes don't erupt. Okay, so let's glue our bumps to the ground. We're going to watch coach Alexa with our eyes. Okay, so I'm going to start by running and running. Crab, you're right with their claws. What about a shark? 
You're right, Alexa, a shark. Now, are sharks scary with their teeth? A little bit, but don't worry. We're gonna see some friendly sharks, okay? So we are going to be taking a trip. We are going to be driving our boats all around our ocean. And if Coach Olivia sees a shark, I will tell you, shark! And we're gonna park our boat and wait and see when the shark passes, okay? Coach Olivia is going to show us, okay? So can you glue your thumb down? Okay, just eyes on Coach Olivia. So I'm gonna take my steering wheel, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna start <gasps> driving my boat all around the ocean. And <gasps> there's a shark! I have to park my boat and wait. Uh oh, is it gone? Yeah. Okay, now I can go again. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it back to the circle. Can everyone show me their steering wheel? You're sitting on them. Perfect. Do you think we can do that? Okay, remember, listening to Coach Olivia, and we're going to try and stay onto our field, riding all the way around wherever we want, okay? Let's stand up. And when Coach Olivia says go, we're gonna run, run, run as fast as we can. Ready, set, go, 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 go. Good job, run, 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 run. Oh my goodness, I see a turtle. Oh my goodness, there's a shark by Stu. Park your boat. Be very quiet. Oh, let's see. Is it gone? Do you see it? Is it gone? Yeah. Okay, we can go again. Go, 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 go. Okay, good job, soccer players. And I see a mermaid. So the teaching model for our under six and under eight league programs. Okay, soccer players. I need everyone to get a soccer ball from the net using your feet. Perfect, Olivia, using your feet. And you've got to find your own space on the field. You can go anywhere you like. Can you touch any other soccer players? Can you give anyone a high five? Perfect, that's what we're looking for. Okay, who's got big memory here? Who's good at remembering things? Perfect, everyone? That's what we like to hear. Now, Coach is going to give you a few things to remember. He's going to give you a number, and each number means you have to do a certain trick. So remember last week we looked at our toe taps? Olivia, can you show me what our toe taps look like? Perfect. Tap in the top of the ball with your toe and the ball is a moving. Thank you, Olivia. So every time you hear coach shout, one, we're going to stop and we're going to do five toe taps. Let's practice. One, two, three, four, five. Once you've done your five toe taps, you keep moving around the field. You keep dribbling. If you hear coach shout, two. Alexa, can you remember our penguins? Yeah. What do our penguins look like? Perfect! Using the inside of our feet and walking just like a penguin. So every time you hear coach shout number two, we're going to stop. We're going to do five penguins. Let's practice that. One, two, three, four, five. Once we've done five, Taylor, what do we do? Statues. Oh, we don't do statues. Once we finish five, we keep going, right? As soon as we've done five, we keep moving around. And number three. This is the most difficult one. If you hear coach shout, three, we're gonna turn. We're gonna change direction. So if I'm dribbling like this and you hear coach say three, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna pull the ball behind me and I'm gonna turn and go in the opposite direction. Let's give that one a quick practice. Three, can we change direction? Can we turn around and go the other way? Excellent, statues. Really good, number one is, number two is, Number three is, yes, I think we're ready soccer players, let's keep those ears open, go, we're dribbling around, we don't want to be near any soccer players, we want to keep our own space, one, as soon as you've done your five, you can keep moving, excellent, one, yes, look at this close control, number three, we've got to go back the way we came, excellent, two, and statues! Good job, soccer players! Okay, so for the teaching model LTE, we are still gonna focus on those four main points, the tell, show, tell, go, but you wanna really, really focus on those parent directives. So you want to make sure that you're highlighting to the parents how they're gonna play the game and talk about the developmental aspect. So what is this game teaching their children? 
spatial awareness, hand-eye coordination, balance, any of those things, just so that they are aware of how this is helping their child develop. Okay, so for the teaching model threes and fours, they're a little bit older. We wanna focus on the tell, show, tell, go, of course, still. Um, the tell at the beginning is really focusing on the creative element um, that really tie pulls the kids in and gets them interested in the game and gets them excited. Then you're going to obviously stand up, show them and demonstrate how they can actually play the game. Um, this will make sure everyone knows what they're doing. And then you're going back to tell, reiterating any rules or expectations of the game. And then when we move on to go, make sure your kids are up and ready to go in the standing position. Uh, get them super excited and loud and then you can start your game. Okay, so the teaching model for uh, our older programs, under six, under eight and upwards, we're still following those four pillars like uh, we have in the younger ones, tell, show, tell, go, but there's a bit more opportunity for flexibility there. You can be a bit more fluid with how you're coaching these games. As you saw on the demonstration, I got all the players into their starting position so they are ready to go as soon as we were able to go. However, if you're not confident enough that you have the control of the entire group when they're so spread out, Get them in the circle, just like we do with the younger groups. Explain everything, and then when you're confident they've understood everything, get them into position. With them being older, there's a bit more room for a bit of conversation between the two, trying to elicit the answers out of them. Why are we doing this? What are we gonna achieve by doing this? Instead of you saying, this is what we're doing, can we get them to answer those questions for you? Similarly, there's a bit more room for technical feedback. Uh, if you wanna say, maybe you can think about doing it this way, instead of just saying, oh, great job. Nice. So, soccer players, we we're going to use our little kicks with our mums and dads and dribble all the way to the hippo. Use our big kicks to score a goal in the hippo's mouth. Now, hippos do not like the taste of soccer player fingers, only soccer player toes. So, I need everyone to glue their bums to the ground, use their eyes and watch Coach Alexa, okay? All right, so I'm going to go to the basket. I'm gonna pick one blueberry. I'm gonna use my little kicks go all the way to Mr. Hippo and then I'm gonna do a big kick and score a goal in his mouth okay now soccer players did coach Alexa use her hands no no coach Alexa used her feet okay so I'm gonna get everyone to stand up with mom or dad grab one blueberry and dribble all the way and feed my hippo okay go come on Reggie good work Awesome job, Reggie! Very good! Good work, everyone! Good little kicks! Amazing! Beautiful! Good kick! Very good! Okay, and freeze! Okay, soccer players, we are going to be moving to our next game. I need you guys to help Coach Olivia. That poor little hip over there needs some blueberries too. Do you think we can share the blueberries? Yeah. Okay, so when coaches go, we need to get all those blueberries back over to that little baby hippo, feed him with a big kick using our feet, and then we are going to grab a ball and come back to our circle for our next game. Okay, ready and go. We're going to grab a blueberry, bring it back. Good job, Taylor. Good job, Alexa. Remember a big kick at the net. Perfect. Okay, he's all full of grab a soccer ball. Come to our circle. Five, four, three, two, one. Sitting on our bumps. Good job. Okay, eyes and ears on Coach Olivia. So soccer players, we are going to be taking another trip to the ocean. What lives in our ocean? An octopus. Octopus. What else is Dolphin. A dolphin. A jellyfish. Jellyfish. A shark. And sharks. But we have to be careful of the sharks. They have lots of teeth. So we have to make sure we stay clear of the sharks. So soccer players, we are going to be using our magic little kicks to power up our boat. We each have this special engine for our boat and we need to use our little soccer kicks to power our boat all the way around the ocean. Okay, when Coach Olivia sees a shark, 
I'm going to yell shark. And then that means we are going to stop our boat and wait for the shark to leave. Okay, so glue our bumps down. We're going to watch Coach Olivia. I'm going to use little kicks to kick my engine to power my boat. Make sure I keep my head up so I can see my other soccer friends so I don't run into anyone. <gasps> There's a shark and stop. And we're going to wait for the shark to pass. Is he gone? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do little kicks again. And when we stop, we put our foot right on top just like this. Can everyone stand up and show me how they stop their boat? Good job, Sue. Good job, Alexa. Just like that. Do you think we could do our little kicks? Yeah. Do we use our hands? No. No hands. Are you guys ready? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and go. Little kicks, little kicks. Good job. Oh my goodness. I see a jellyfish, Alexa. Oh. And I see a shark. Stop the boat. Be quiet. Okay, we're good. Let's go again. Good job, good job. Okay, Soccer Flash, we are going to freeze. I think it's time we left the ocean. We're going to go to the mountain. Do you guys want to go to the mountain? Yeah. 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 Let's go to the mountain. I need you guys to help me. Do you see all of our soccer balls in the net? Yeah. Using our feet, we are going to take all of our soccer balls over to this white line, and we're going to make sure we glue them nicely to this white line. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Ten second challenge. Can you do it? Yeah. Go! Ten! job Taylor for all there perfect can we all come and take a seat on one of our orange dots over here smash it okay you guys got good imaginations yeah, yeah. yeah. me too we're gonna close our eyes when we open them we are gonna imagine that we're in the snowy mountain three two one open what can you see snow Snow, good Taylor. What can you see, Olivia? Trees. Trees, very good. Alexa, what can you see? A polar bear. Oh, do you like polar bears? Yeah. Me too, they're the best. I'll tell you what I can see. I can see two big yellow caves. Can you guys see them? Yeah, you've got one right behind you, and you've got one all the way on the other side of the mountain, right down there. You guys are going to be explorers. You're going to be trying to explore as many different caves as you can. But you're not alone in this mountain. Over there lives a big snow monster. Can you guess who the snow monster is? You! Yeah, I'm gonna be the big snow monster. Am I scary? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm a friendly snow monster. I'm not scary at all, but I am a little lonely. So I wanna get some more snow monster friends. And you remember those soccer balls you put nicely on the line over there? They are the snow monster's magic snowballs. And if you get touched by a magic snowball, what do you think you turn into? A monster! A snow monster, exactly! You become part of the snow monster gang, which is the coolest gang to be in, obviously. Now, the snow monster is so strong, he can push all of the snow down the mountain. Do you know what it's called when all the snow slides down the mountain? Can you, have you learned that word? Oh. Pardon? Avalanche! Excellent, Olivia! That's called an avalanche when all the snow comes down the mountain it's called an avalanche so if you hear the snow monster shout avalanche that means he's trying to cover your cave in snow so what can you do if he's trying to cover this cave in snow run to the other cave perfect you're gonna try and run get safe in that other cave but this is where the magic snowballs come into action once the snow monster sees you trying to escape your cave they're going to kick their magic snowballs at you. And if you get hit on the toes with the snowball, what happens? Turn into a monster. Perfect. We're going to have a little go at that. I need one volunteer. Who fancies it? Yes, Taylor. OK. So Alexa, Olivia, you're going to sit down. We're going to watch. Coach Taylor, what word are we listening for? Avalanche. Avalanche. When you hear the word avalanche, you're going to try and run from your orange spot on this cave all the way to the blue spot on that cave. Three, two, one. Avalanche over there is an explorer, can I get them? Oh, she made it all the way across. Now you've got to try and get back to the other Avalanche on this game. Oh, we 
got her. So what are you turning to now, Taylor? Monster. You're going to come over to the side and you are going to be another snow monster. Perfect. That was just practice though. You're back in. Okay. Are we ready, explorers? Yeah. Yeah, we can't be running if we're sat down, so we got to stand up. Perfect. Olivia, if I hit you with my magic snowball, what happens? I'm a snow monster. Perfect. And Alexa, do you want to get hit by this magic snowball? No. Nope. No, so you're going to try and dodge it. We're ready. We're ready. We're ready. Avalanche! We're going to get some new, some new snow monsters. I'm going to... Oh! Are you going to be a snow monster with me? Yes. Perfect, let's come to the side. Find some magic snowballs. We've got two more explorers to get. You ready? You want to help me shout avalanche? Yeah. Perfect. Three, two, one. Avalanche! Who can we get? Oh! Perfect, did you make it safely? Yeah. Yes, Alexa, round of applause for Alexa. She is our winner.